look at the calendar, man, it's just about two weeks and Holidazzle gets rolling for the season. Leah Wong from the Minneapolis Downtown District is here to reveal more details. So this is just a wonderful Minnesota tradition. I know that Nicolet Mall's under so much construction. You guys had to change locations this year. Yeah, well, we're very excited to have bring Holidazzle to Loring Park this year, working with Minneapolis Downtown Council and the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board. Loring Park's going to be an awesome venue, but I think a lot of people want to know, all right, what's going to be there? And that's some of what you're revealing this morning, because we knew you were going to do a market again. You had a successful market uh, in PV Plaza last year. What is going to be at the market this year? Well, we're very excited about this year's holiday experience. We're creating a community gathering place holiday destination out at Loring Park. Um, and as a part of that, we will again have the market. The new twist to the market this year is we're really focused on local vendors. So We're so hot. Vendors. That's what everybody is interested Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. And yeah. how can we showcase Minneapolis to all the visitors that are coming in during the holiday season? So packaged food, prepared food and beverage, unique craft and gift items, all that have a very local focus and ties to producers and makers here in Minneapolis. And different this year that I know a lot of people are going to be excited to hear about that the market, everything is free. There is no entrance fee. And something else that's new is we're going to have an ice rink in Loring Park. Absolutely. We're very excited this morning to announce that we will have a downtown ice rink that will open the opening day of Holidazzle, Friday, November 27th. we be situated as a centerpiece here in Loring Park of our Holidazzle experience. Is it going to be the pond kind of out there? Or? So we will actually be bringing in a refrigerated oh, ice rink. Oh, you're going to build it. Wow. Yes, so it will be built. Um, we'll have a lot of fun with kind of building that, and people can watch that come to life in Loring Park. But we're very excited about that experience and offering that, um, especially during this great weather that we're having. I know a lot of people, when they think Loring Park, they think, eh, parking can be so tight. Are you guys doing anything to accommodate that? Absolutely. So we're working with uh, ramps and surface lots around the area to do a flat rate $5 parking. We'll make sure that we're putting all that information on our social media channels and the website. We're also working with Metro Transit on some um, ride options as well. Now you're not bringing back the parade. People are, always ask. People always ask. We're not bringing back the parade, but we will have um, still kind of that taste of lighting in Loring Park. And more fireworks this year. More fireworks People this year. People really liked that last year, and you expanded it, right? Absolutely. Well, I think winter fireworks are just so unique and different. You don't expect to see yeah. them. And so we'll have that um, first as part of our ceremonial opening on Friday, November 27th. The hours, I think, are nice as well. It's open Thursday, Friday in the evenings, and then yeah. Saturday, Sunday from 11 in the morning till 9 at night. Absolutely. Yeah, so a lot of opportunity to get down there and, and check it out. And some of the vendors I saw, you have Love, Love Your Melon is mm -hmm. going to do like like a Holidazzle hat. Yes, they which will be which cool. Will be great. Kramarchek sausage. Fulton beer. Yeah, yes. all the good Minnesota yeah. companies. And still more to be announced over the next couple weeks, right? Yes, so cool. Very all right, good. Leah, thanks so much for coming in.